Hey everyone, this is Daily Dose of Medicine. In this video, we will talk about blepharospasm. It is a type of dystonia, which is a movement disorder that causes involuntary muscle contractions. In blepharospasm, the involuntary contractions specifically affect the muscles that control eyelid movement. It's a rare condition with an estimated prevalence of 16 to 133 cases per million people. It typically affects individuals in their 50s or 60s and women are affected more often than men. The abnormal contractions in blepharospasm are believed to be caused by an overactive relapse of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter that stimulates muscle contraction. This overactivity may be due to dysfunction in the basal ganglia, which normally inhibits the release of acetylcholine. Now, let's talk about clinical presentation. It typically presents with excessive blinking, involuntary closure of the eyelids, which can interfere with daily activities such as reading, driving, or watching television. These involuntary contractions may be worsened by stress, fatigue, or bright lights. Other symptoms may include dry eyes, eye irritation or discomfort, photophobia, which is intolerance to light or light sensitivity, or headaches. In severe cases, the eyelids may remain closed for long periods of time, leading to functional blindness. The diagnosis is typically made based on the patient's clinical presentation and medical history. In some cases, additional tests such as EMG or brain imaging may be ordered to rule out other conditions that can cause similar symptoms. The primary treatment is botulinum toxin injections, also known as Botox. This treatment involves injecting small amounts of the toxin into the affected muscles, which temporarily paralyzes them and reduces the involuntary contractions. In cases where medication or Botox are not effective, surgery may be considered. The most common surgical option is myectomy, which involves removing a portion of the affected muscle to reduce its activity. Other medications that may be used to treat blepharospasm include muscle relaxants such as clonazepam or baclofen. We have done a video on benzodiazepines I recommend you to watch or anticholinergic drugs such as trihexphenidyl. Now let's talk about the prognosis. While there is currently no cure for blepharospasm, most patients can achieve significant relief of their symptoms with appropriate treatment. Botox injections typically provide relief for three to six months after which additional injections may be required. With ongoing treatment, many patients are able to maintain good control of their symptoms and continue to lead productive lives. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch our How to Detox Pancreas video and Folate Deficiency Science video. See you on the next one.